So Jesse mentioned uh, Angular Elements and uh, the talks tonight um, are going to cover uh, things around you know building Angular components and component libraries. Uh, so we're going to get into the, uh, the Angular component development kit and then uh, Shannon, our guest speaker, is going to talk a little bit about uh, what to do once you've built a component library and you want to share it with the world. So um, the, uh, the component uh, development kit, or the CDK, uh, is, it's, is, a, is a, um, a module that's uh, built into um, Angular Material 2, but is also published as a standalone module. So um, this was a quote from the Angular team. Um, essentially, the goal of creating this was to to build a, a low-level platform that developers could use if they're building their own component libraries um, so that you're not bringing in uh, the opinions of material design if you choose you know, not to, um, to use their library. Um, that there are a number of, of shared utilities that, that, um, that, we, that they built that can be reused and that are not, you know, don't carry the baggage of material design. Uh, if you're interested in this, the, just recently um, the documentation for this was released. So if you go to material.angular.io, there's a new tab for the CDK. Um, it's still pretty lean at this point. Uh, if, you're, if you really want to understand how this stuff works, I'd recommend going to the um, Angular Material 2 uh, repository in GitHub and looking at the source. So it's in the um, source uh, CDK directory. And there's quite a bit in here in terms of um, additional documentation, markdown files, and then simply reading the code itself I think is pretty handy. Um, so we're going to look a little bit, just kind of do a, a high level um, overview of what's in the CDK and take a look at some of the things that, that are in it. Um, we'll also look at a few uh, live examples um, to show how some of these things work. 